The Scottish Parliament adjourned on the 25th day of March in the year 1707 is hereby reconvened. Hey, Donald Campbell Dewar. I, Margo MacDonald. I, Jack Wilson McConnell. I, Tommy Sheridan. I, David William McClatchy. Nicola Sturgeon. Bashir Ahmed. Tavish Hamilton Scott. Ruth Elizabeth Davidson. Alison Johnston. This bill will remove a badge of shame. The, the state aid that the, the bank has received, what the actual amounts. That will be £45 billion. Pounds. I had felt quite confident by the time I bought the land that the wind farms were not going to happen. You know, what's the other man to, to be able to afford point, a lawyer though? to what, what explain it? to you that it would have been completely outrageous and improper? Children whose parents are in receipt of low wages are being denied access to a free school meal. That's what you're doing. The reality is that full mesh removal is not available in Scotland. Did you see the letter? I don't recall seeing it at that particular point in time. So the I chief executive didn't see the letter either. To advocate the removal on behalf of the people of Scotland of Trident from our shores. It is not possible to say that you will not have nuclear weapons on your soil. Future withdrawal of the troops must depend upon the conditions on the ground. I cannot think of anything that has galvanised a generation of political activists more than this war has. The bill seeks to exercise a duty of care towards prostitutes and to minimise annoyance, inconvenience and embarrassment to the general community. It does not seek to condone or promote prostitution. The people of Scotland will be asked to choose between two futures between taking the future into our own hands or continuing to allow key aspects of Scottish life to be controlled by the Westminster government. I can't think of any examples, any examples of modern successful countries that have broken themselves up. We have been brought together by our dismay, bordering now on despair at the UK government's approach to and handling of Brexit. The Leave campaign nonetheless attracted over one million Scottish supporters. A 38% vote to Leave, a reality upon which this parliament has never properly reflected. Move on to the statement itself. Thank you. No members asked to speak against the motion. We all have a part to play in maintaining the sense of dignity and decorum that is expected of us. The order, order please. Thank you very much. That concludes decision time and I close this meeting.